Milk, we can't guarantee. Cheese is bad, don't disagree. Butter, ew, like high key. Forced to be dairy free. Hi, folks, and back to Forced to be dairy free. Today, we will be making Irish egg rolls. Yes. I love this Irish, Irish egg rolls. And if you refer back to a video that we made making the corn venison, this is an excellent way to use that corn venison. I love Irish egg rolls. I got the idea from this recipe from watching one of my favorite shows from one of my favorite chefs with this guy Fieri. And I believe it was a restaurant that was in Minnesota where they had these Irish egg rolls. I was like, ooh, man, I gotta try that. I gotta use my corn venison. So we, what we wanna do is I have a pound and a half of corn venison that I made. And you can use a pound, a pound to a pound and a half. I have a pound and a half here. Of course, the more you have, the more egg rolls you can make, right? Yeah. But I have a pound and a half to our other ingredients. And I'm just gonna shred this to where it is in smaller chunks, pretty fine chunks. And then I'm gonna put this, Cameron, why don't you get yourself a stirring spoon? Okay. You mind doing that? I'm gonna get a spatula. <clears throat> What's that? A spatula. I'm doing a spatula. Okay. Whatever suits you, suits you. That's fine. I'm not stirring. Okay. And then I am going to have a little over a cup. I said a cup of green cabbage. And I like the green cabbage in there just to give it a little bit of crunch in my Irish egg roll. And then the key ingredient is a good sauerkraut. If you don't like sauerkraut, I suggest you find a sauerkraut you like. And, oh, come on, come on. Get out! No kidding. Okay, that's spatula. Cameron, that was key. You really came through. So this sauerkraut, in fact, I think it's a little over a cup. This sauerkraut is the best sauerkraut you can get. This Hoganville Family Farm sauerkraut. A friend of mine makes this actually. And it is made in the great state of Kansas. Whoa! And you can find it in grocery stores such as Price Chopper. Yeah. Right? Yes. And I love this stuff. You can eat this, you can eat this sauerkraut plain by itself. I love it by itself even. So great. Got that sauerkraut in there. Gosh, I feel like that's not enough. I feel like we need more sauerkraut. But we'll stick with it. <laughs> That was funny, you're like, oh my gosh. And now I'm gonna do a tablespoon of pepper. And that is as simple as that. We have all those great natural ingredients there. We don't need more than that. So you're gonna mix that up. I am. And while you mix that up, I'll toss that off to the side. Good. We're gonna make our sauce for the egg rolls. Oh, cock trout fell on the counter. That's so cute. Oh. Are you just gonna eat it? Mm. Mm -hmm. So good. So we're gonna do one cup of mayonnaise. I'm partial, I don't even know if it tastes any different, but I always get the, the avocado mayonnaise. Cameron. Oh yes, of course. Yeah, yes, not yeah, yes. And I'm gonna do a quarter cup of fresh parsley. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just gonna leave just a little bit in there for my garnish in that cup. Wash my hands since I don't want to be all grody. And I'm going to do, you done? Yep. You all mix together? Yep. Good for you. Thank you. I'm going to do a half a teaspoon. This is a teaspoon, so do a half of that. And I'm going to do one table, one sriracha. teaspoon to taste of sriracha. Yeah. What do you think, Cameron, is one of that? if we do more. Yeah. Oh, so what? Oh, did you accidentally spill? Oh, oops. Oh my, it's okay. We can't Two waste teaspoons. it. We can't waste it. Nope. And that'll be our sauce for the egg rolls. So our next step, we're gonna start making our egg rolls over here. And I'll have Cameron do a step-by-step -step instruction on making egg rolls. Okay guys, I'm gonna take my wonton and I'm gonna have a corner facing me. And I have two egg yolks here, and I'm basically just gonna put it on all four sides. And like normal when we do this egg wash, it is acting as a glue. I mean, not real glue, obviously, but it's like glue. 
And next you're gonna take a good portion of the egg roll mixture and you're gonna put it on the bottom. And you don't wanna put too much because it'll overflow on the sides and that's just never good. And you're gonna take the two sides and fold them over and you're gonna pinch to the side and bring the bottom over like that. Keep pinching and roll it over. And it should look like this. This one's a smaller one, but you know, I like it. Okay guys, all the Irish egg rolls have been made and now it's time to put them into a big old pot. Yes, big old pot. I have my oil here on a medium high heat and you just want to put these egg rolls in the hot oil until they get browned. And it will take about five minutes or so. All in all, Cameron and I say Cameron and I, really Cameron, yeah. made 10 egg rolls with the ingredients we had here. And you can see we have, this one's kind of stuck, Cameron. <gasps> that was yours. I'll be careful, careful. That was mine. <laughs> so we're able to fit five in there at a time. And you can see I already have my wire rack ready here. So I take them out, I can drain them on my wire rack. So we'll let these cook. It'll take about five minutes or so until these are brown on all sides. All right, guys, the, boys, they've been in there for about five minutes and they're looking pretty golden, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, guys. And we're putting it on the rack like we mentioned and there's a plate under it so the oil can, you know, get off of it. You don't want it getting messy. Up nicely. Oh my gosh, they're looking so beautiful. Oh yes. So that means we got the first five done. You already know. All right, now we'll go to plating. All righty guys, this is the completed dish. Looking beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a video. Bye guys. Bye.